phone in here, we're going to run some uh, benchmark tests on the uh, HTC Thunderbolt on the left and the uh, Samsung Droid Charge on the right. We got the uh, Quandrit uh, loaded up here, so we're going to uh, run both of these here at the uh, same time, see what kind of uh, results we get. Um, we ran them earlier, and the uh, Thunderbolt uh, seems to normally average anywhere between uh, 17 and 1800 but the uh, droid charge seems to be anywhere between uh, 900 and 1,000. Uh, we're not really sure why there's such a uh, uh, significant difference, almost you know, uh, 800, 900 point difference between the two. Um, but it does seem that the uh, Thunderbolt is uh, getting done uh, quicker here than the uh, droid charge, which is interesting because they both have a, a one gigahertz processor installed. So let's see here. Okay, the uh, Droid Charge, oh, I'm sorry, the uh, HTC Thunderbolt had a score of uh, 1,811, and the Samsung Droid Charge has 1,037, so almost a 800-point uh, uh, difference here between the uh, Thunderbolt on the left and the uh, Samsung Droid Charge on the right. Um, it may be because there's some applications running in the background or uh, possibly Quandrant uh, hasn't been optimized yet to use the uh, Droid Charge, but there's definitely uh, some speed difference there. As you could tell, the uh, speed um, of uh, getting the benchmark done on the uh, Thunderbolt was uh, running a bit faster. We also did the uh, Antutu system benchmark earlier today as well on the uh, Thunderbolt we got a score of uh, 1991 and on the Samsung Droid Charge got a score of 1886 so almost a, a hundred point difference here between the two of those when uh, going into uh, NeoCore which basically just measures the uh, graphic frame per second count. As you can tell with the uh, difference on the screen, the uh, Thunderbolt just has a standard uh, uh, TFT LCD with the uh, Samsung Droid Charge having the Super AMOLED Plus. Uh, you can definitely tell that uh, colors look much more uh, vivid and uh, vibrant on the uh, Samsung Droid Charge than the HTC Thunderbolt. Okay, almost coming to an end here. Okay, and the uh, Samsung Droid Charge got a 56.8 frames per second. We've seen it close to uh, 59 and the HTC Thunderbolt is uh, 59.2 so both pretty uh, similar there. Um, pretty much uh, the only difference in the benchmark that we've seen uh, was uh, with running a Quandrant um, almost an 800 point difference there but like we said uh, it may not be uh, optimized yet for the device or there could be some apps running in the background that's uh, stealing a uh, CPU performance but for actual uh, phone usage you can see the um, screens on the home screen both of them move uh, pretty quick and uh, fluid so on neither device there's uh, there's really no uh, noticeable lag going between the screens or when going into the, uh, the menus both are uh, pretty fast and smooth here so be sure to check out our uh, upcoming full review on the Samsung Droid Charge at phonearena.com.